This short video is an answer to a question we get asked almost every day. And that question is, why would I use a layering scissor as a qualified stylist in the salon? Well, let me ask you a question back. Were you taught to cut hair with a solid blade traditional hairdressing scissor, as I was? When you uh, passed your hairdressing qualification, were you taught to cut a guideline, follow a guideline, so they all matched in and connected in order to create a great haircut? If the answer is yes, do you also do your haircut, blow dry the client's hair, and then look in the mirror knowing in an instant that you need to pick up this scissor again and start to point cut or manually texturize and soften the cut to give it that finished look. That's in effect doing two haircuts on every client. Now that takes time. That's a bit like asking somebody if they use the old communication technologies of landline telephones and writing letters and sending them in the post. They're still available today and they both still work, but we all know that those technologies have changed and most people now use email, most people have mobile phones, they're even connected to the internet mobile as well. Well, if you think of the layering scissor as a new technology for every stylist, what this allows you to do is to shorten somebody's hair, whether you are doing short layers, medium, long layers, and even graduation techniques, and to add a soft texture in one go. That is going to save a lot of time in the salon. And the two main benefits are, yes, you will save time. One of the biggest blocks for stylists when it comes to creativity is thinking about the time they have and how they're going to use that time when they're styling somebody's hair. And you know, as a stylist, that if you're running short on time, your creativity tends to run a little short as well. And the second benefit of using a layering scissor every day is you get a fabulous consistency to the finished look on every single client whose hair you need to either layer or soften and texturize. I hope that answers your question and I hope that it helps you to choose the right equipment for the kind of work that you want to do.